Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Um, so this is part two of my egg collection. Um, this is like the actual egg collection procedure and like how it went afterwards and all that kind of stuff. So before we get into the video quickly, I just wanted to mention before my bone marrow transplant, um, we didn't actually know that I might become like infertile or that my fertility would be decreased and that kind of stuff so when we met the um, bone marrow doctor um, he said that I will become infertile so it was only after that that we looked into um, fertility and like getting egg frozen and that kind of stuff so I really do recommend if you know you have to start chemo or you haven't had chemo and you're going for a bone marrow transplant definitely talk to your doctor about it um, and see if you can get eggs collected or um, sperm or whatever. See if you can get some sort of backup fertility just in case anything happens. Um, so yeah, definitely speak to your doctors about that. In Australia, it is covered under oncology. So we didn't have to pay for anything because I'm like terminal illness. It's put under oncology even though it's hematology. So we didn't have to pay for anything. It was all paid for um, by the hospital. So I'm so grateful for that. Um, I don't think it would be the same in like America, for example, um, in like other countries. I don't know how it all works, but in Australia, it is all paid for. And um, yeah, because I'm still a like oncology patient, it was it's all been paid for me again. Yeah, definitely speak to your doctor about it before you start chemo or your bone marrow transplant. Definitely speak to your doctor about it. Um, and the costs and everything like that. So quick warning. There is like Needles in this next clip. So needle warning without further ado. Let's get into the video It's 12:40, and it is time to take my Trigger injection. I am beyond exhausted, but I couldn't sleep So I'm gonna do that right now Basically, it already comes set um, on there. It says 250. You don't even see it. But basically, I'm just going to dial it all the way up to 250. If I dial it back down, it doesn't have any numbers. It just got the lines. So, yeah, let's do it. That's it, it's officially started. I am gonna have my eggs collected on Monday. Good morning guys. So today is Monday the 2nd of November. Um, and today is an exciting day because I'm having my eggs collected today. So my, I'm getting them, so my appointment is at 12.40, but I have to be there at 11.30, just for like prep and stuff, I think. Um, so we're gonna leave at about quarter to 11 because it takes a while to get there. Now, because my um, surgery is at 12.40, I had to take the trigger injection, which you guys would have seen 36 hours beforehand. So that like releases the eggs for them to be able to get collected. So today's the day. I'm really excited to see how many they get. And I'm excited to bring you guys along and I hope this video helps you. See you when we get there. <music> Hey guys, so it's been quite a while since I spoke to you last. Um, it's actually the 13th of November right now. Um, and I think I had my surgery on like the 2nd. I wasn't really allowed to film that much in Reprimed where I had my eggs collected. Just because like privacy and whatnot. And like I couldn't get any like filming in the surgery area. But basically, I'll walk you through what happened. And I did say, take a few little clips. My egg collection was at 12.40 um, Monday morning. 
yeah, 12.40 Monday morning. Um, so I had to have my trigger injection at 12.40 a.m. Um, Sunday morning. So, yeah, I had to, I was planning to, like, go to sleep and I had set my alarm, um, to wake up and then do it. But I ended up just staying up all night and then doing it and then going to bed. I did my trigger injection. For some reason, surprisingly, when I, after I injected it and took it out, it bled a, quite a lot. Like, not heaps, but just, like, a little bit of blood came out, which is, was a bit strange because the rest of them didn't. And then Monday morning, we had to get there an hour before my actual egg collection. So we got there at 11.30. Um, well, I think we got there at 11 and then we had to be there at 11.30. So we waited for a while. Um, and then eventually they brought me in, the, one of the nurses did, and she took me into the office. She basically weighed me, made sure I was who I am. Um, asked me a few questions about like have I had this before which yes I had if I remembered much about the process which I kind of did but not really so they just went over what would happen again after I met with the nurse the, she took me into like a bathroom and I had to get changed into um, like a hospital gown and then you put a dressing gown over the top you can either take your own dressing gown or they give you one and then like these little like blue um, like booty shoe things like to cover your feet so you don't touch the actual floor and then a hairnet as well they also like put tape over all my piercings because I didn't want to take them out they were also like quite a lot behind so I don't think I went in to my a collection until like one quarter past one maybe even like 1 30 I don't remember they were really late whilst I was waiting out in the waiting area the anesthetist guy I don't know how to say that word but the anesthetist I think he came out and spoke to me about what would happen um basically just saying that they'll put a little like gelco iv thing into my arm and then they'll just inject the stuff to make me go to sleep and then i'll be out um and he was saying that the procedure only takes about 20 minutes or so so it's very very quick um doesn't take very long at all and then I went out, back to waited for a few more minutes, and then the, one of the other nurses, she took me in. And we walked down the corridor, and we went straight into the theatre. I walked into the little operating room, and they, like, put me up on the bed. I had to take off my dressing gown, and I left the normal gown on. Um, by the way, they give you a dressing gown because the hospital gowns, you have to tie them up at the back, but you can still kind of see your back and your butt. So they gave me a dressing gown just so you, like no one sees your butt. Yeah, we went into the surgery room and I jumped up on the bed and they have like the little rest where you put your legs up on. So I just like laid down, had to put my legs on them. And then like if anybody's worried about um, them looking, like if you're self-conscious down there, um, don't be because when you like put your legs up, they put like... Um, a blanket or like your dressing gown, not your dressing gown, the hospital gown between your legs so no one sees anything until you're asleep. And yeah, once I was in surgery, the anesthetist, 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 I don't know, he put the drip in my arm and then like a few minutes later, not even a minute later, I was out, I was done. I was waking up as I was putting me onto the bed. They wheeled me out, put me in like a little waiting area with like an oxygen mask on. And I was just waiting there. And then it really wasn't that long. I think I was waiting maybe, maybe an hour, maybe an hour and a half because I didn't leave until three o'clock ish. So came out, was waiting in the bed. I was chilling because I was so, so tired. Whilst I was laying in bed as well, they put like a little pad between my legs just in case of any bleeding or anything. But I didn't bleed, so that was fine. After a while, they like get you to move off the bed and then into a little seat. And you can have like a sandwich or like some crackers and stuff and a drink. And you have to like eat and drink before they take out your little drip. Um, so I did that. Ate fine. Everything was okay. Then yes, we walked over to the chair. It was like... It wasn't hard, but like I was really tired and like groggy, a bit wobbly, and it did hurt. And yeah, I just sat down and chilled for a bit. And they gave my mum a call to come and pick me up. And then once I was feeling okay, um, I went and got dressed. They told me to go get dressed, so I got dressed, which it took me a minute. 
um, just because I wasn't feeling the best and I still had the drip in so it was like hard to put my bra back on and stuff um, really uncomfortable and like I don't know why they didn't take it out earlier because when I was putting my clothes back on it started bleeding a lot so yeah I don't know but I went back out chilled for a bit and then eventually they were like alright you're free to go so we went home I basically just came home chilled in bed for the rest of the day because I wasn't feeling like doing anything so that was Monday Tuesday I pretty much just stayed in bed and Wednesday I stayed in bed um, needed a little bit of Panadol every now and again but yeah by Wednesday I was feeling all right it was just like a little bit uncomfortable but it was basically just like regular period pain so it was nothing I wasn't used to and then before the egg collection I was going for regular walks so I finally went for a walk on Friday um, uh, it was really difficult for me it actually really hurt and it started hurting down there a lot as well so I had to cut my walk really short um, but over the weekend I was completely fine and even like I would say from like Friday to Saturday onwards I've been completely fine since then um, in regards to how many eggs they got they collected nine so they wrote a little nine on my hand so they got nine eggs and I got a call later that day the egg freezing lady she called me and she said three of the eggs weren't great um, so they froze six good ones and one not so great one just in case so they froze seven eggs out of the nine that they collected which is great um, because I already had 14 from last time one of them's a bit dodgy so now I have 21 and two of them are a little bit dodgy so that's fine I'm happy with that I think that pretty much concludes this video if you have any comments please leave them down below I'll answer all of your questions um, like literally ask me anything about the surgery about how it went anything I don't mind ask I will answer it yeah that is it for this video that's it for my egg collection journey um, thank you so much for watching I really do hope that this has helped you guys anyone who's going through it anybody who is like going to go through chemo or have a bone marrow transplant or anything like that even if it's not really so even if you're just gonna have IVF or anything I hope this video has helped um, in any way shape or form Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.